with Chef Ricardo cooking program today. Today we want to show you guys that, you know what I mean, tell you a little bit and tips about Christmas. Christmas is coming up soon. Basically, I want to tell you something, guys. Today we're going to show you how you can make yourself a nice lovely double sponge cake. So basically first of all you're going to be needed 4 ounces of sugar which is going to be custard sugar which is more easier to angle. That's 4 ounces that's what you're going to be needed. I got 4 ounces and pour straight inside of my bowl like this. Um, second thing you're going to be needed 4 ounces of unsalted butter room temperature is better guys to be honest as i always say in my video room temperature is always better to do stuff when you bake it and salted butter is better also so guys this is a full recipe of or you can make yourself double sponge cake at home so this is four ounces of sugar and i'm now i'm weighing out four ounces of unsalted butter which is Good to you. So basically, four ounces of sugar, four ounces of unsalted butter. Simply get your holding spoon and just simply cream it together like this until it gets really fluffy. If you got the, the your whisk, you can normally use a whisk, or your if you got a mix at your home, you can use it but the hooded spoon does work, do the job also. Look at that. Nice and lovely. So, right here guys, as I can see, this is the way it look when you cream your butter and your sugar together. Now we're gonna add four ounces of self-rising flour inside of it like this. Nice one, use a wooden spoon, same way, and come together with it just like this. I like to add the egg last because it don't make it raw. So, look at that, beautiful. Put this at the side. And now, two egg. It's one. Two egg. Simple. Use a whisk and just give it a whisk. Also, let's add a pinch of milk in the egg. Roughly about two tablespoons of milk. Nice one. Simple, get back your sponge mixture. Simple, add a little bit at a time then add the rest Best thing is to do is get a whisk and whisk it like this. Nice 
that's one. So when you whisk it like that, just use a spatula and scrape around the side like this. Then next, this is my oven tray, baking tray right here. This is my tin where I'm gonna make my sponge in. It's just a seven inches, very small one and flat. So that's what you need to bake double sponge cake guys. I don't need a big tin unless you're gonna cut it. If you're gonna cut it, you can use a big tin. But if you make a, a little small sponge cake, this is really good. So all you need to do is just get some butter and rub it inside of it. If you wanna put grease proof paper, it's up to you, but my one is non-stick, so it's very easy for me. So all I need to do is just rub some butter inside of it and simple, crepe up my space tray. So I'm gonna put half of this mixture inside of it like this. Nice one. And then get the next one and I'm gonna put the same amount, half. The simple script. Start this, start this. I believe one a little bit nougher than one. So basically, use a spatula and a simple. simple the, bit, the most important part that you need to do is preheat the oven first when you preheat the oven guys to be honest when you preheat the oven gas mark five or four is good for it for 15 to 20 minutes inside of your oven the middle of your oven is good to bake the sponge cake um i want to simply say to you guys when you're making sponge cake, it's very important. Some people, when they're making sponge cake, they put their sponge on top of the top grill to get it burned and go on color. When you're making sponge cake and you put it in your oven, medium sized heat, small heat is very good for 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. If not, give it another five more minutes or 25 minutes inside of your oven. If you use a different kind of an oven, 165 degrees, it's really good for 20 to 25 minutes also. So it's not no different guys, it's just when you're baking your cake, don't put your top, put it in the middle of your oven. And second thing, do not open your oven, leave it in there for 25 minutes, then you will check it. You will see that lovely color and yes, you will enjoy the recipe, self-rising flour and butter, milk and egg, make a lovely little double sponge cake at home for the holiday. Enjoy the recipe. Nice and lovely. I just take them from the oven, guys, and as you can see, look at this. Beautiful. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you how you can make yourself a simple double sponge cake, guys, at home. And you know what I mean? As I can see the recipe, I just bake it, just take it from the oven. Now what you need to do is to allow them, make them cool long for roughly about an hour. And after an hour time, then you can simple, I'm just gonna simply show you what next you're gonna do. But look at that. That's beautiful, simple and nice. And this is the other one. Looking so lovely and fantastic. So it's a double sponge cake. Hopefully you guys will like the recipe. Subscribe to the channel and leave your comments, guys. Very easy and simple recipe, but it's effective. And I know you guys will love this recipe. Um, it's, it's a simple sponge cake and hopefully we can do better and best in the future. Enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the channel. Shut the cake because the 
cake is cool on now, roughly about three to four hours since I baked the cake. So it's very cool on now, guys. So what well, basically we're gonna show you because I told you before it is a double sponge cake. Um, basically as you can see on the sponge look, that's it right here, guys, and it looking so lovely and nice. So what I would do, I would put it just like this, and I'm gonna. Sometimes you can icing your sponge cake, but you don't need to icing at the moment. So I just said, you know, I just do it like this for the fun time. Anyway, basically what you can also do, you can two things. You could add, I'm gonna put some drum in the middle. And also, you can also put cream if you like, but I'm not gonna put any cream today. So, first thing, you can either warm up your drum or you can use it cold. But I'm, I'm just gonna use my own cold and I'm gonna use the back of the spoon and I simply spread it over like this. Make you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about right here. So as I can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm putting the drum right on just like this because I don't need to warm up the drum because the drum is already on a room temperature. So it's very easy to angle. All right. Lovely and nice. So as you can see exactly where Chef Ricard is on about with this double drum, double sponge cake. Sorry guys. Then I'm gonna get the next one. The next one is this one, and I'm gonna simple put it on top of this one like this. Lovely and nice. But as you can see, where Chef Ricardo is all about with this jam sponge cake. Then simple, get a little bit of ice and sugar. Just a little bit of ice and sugar. You don't need too much ice and sugar, and simple sprinkle it over on top of it like this. really nice and simple and beautiful guys so i want you guys to enjoy the recipe subscribe to the channel and as you can see where chef ricotta is all about with this double sponge cake really nice and simple and looking lovely so guys as you can see just look at that beautiful beautiful guys really really beautiful and nice every time i make cake the fans of others say chef ricotta you don't even cut the cake so now this is cool down and i'm gonna simply show you what you can do simple cut out a nice lovely piece of a sponge cake as you can see cake looking lovely and nice make you guys can see exactly where chef ricotta is on about with this cake simple that is the double sponge cake that is a nice lovely double sponge cake guys and i want you guys to enjoy the recipe subscribe the channel and please leave your comments we have a lot more recipe gonna come out like this next time i'm gonna show you or you can put like put some nice lovely cream around it and all them stuff so hopefully you can see it's basically all you're gonna be needed for make for making double sponge cake if you have one tin you can use a one tin if you got two tin you can use two tin and make yourself a nice lovely homemade double sponge cake so enjoy the recipe and leave your comments thank you so much for watching chef ricotta cooking program see you next time bye bye Thank you so much and hopefully you have a wonderful time. Enjoy yourself and see you in the next time. Bye bye.